What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I've been making a lot of picture frames recently and I've been wanting to make some splines for the corners. So I've been looking around on YouTube and I found a channel called Make Something who seems to have a pretty simple jig uh, for the table saw on how to make those. So follow along with me today. I'm gonna to show you each step that I take to make it and yeah, we'll see how we get along. So what I'm using for this project is basically scrap pieces. So I decided to go with some half inch plywood and also this piece of pine, which in all honesty, I don't remember what that's from. So step number one, you're gonna to wanna to measure the length of your rip fence. So for me, it is 17 inches or 43 centimeters. And then the height. For me, that is about two and a half inches or six centimeters. So I've got my first piece cut, which is perfectly in line with that side of the rip fence. So for a lot of you, you're gonna have a rip fence, which is perfectly square. So you can just do two of these pieces exactly the same size. For me, with my rip fence, I have this little lip on the edge here. So I can't make mine the same length because it's gonna get blocked by this. So I'm gonna make mine just cover this piece here. So for me, that is about one and a half inches. So now that you've got both sides done, you wanna connect these two pieces with the top piece. So we'll measure across. So for me, that's five and a half centimeters or about two and a quarter inches. Um, so we'll cut that piece and connect this all together and then we'll move on. All right, so we got that top piece cut. So as you can see, it's kind of like creating a box around your rip fence. So again, you know, mine is a bit shorter on this end. For yours, if it's perfectly square, this would come all the way down to the bottom. So let's put this together and then move on. So I'm just putting some glue on this. I'll clamp it together. Once it dries a bit, I'll put a few screws in there and that'll be solid. So now that we've got this whole thing glued up, it's all dried, that should slide really smoothly along your rip fence. So the next thing we're going to want to do is attach the support board here. So now that your assembly is all done and put together, we're gonna move on to the last step. So how I do this is I found the midpoint right at the bottom here, and I'm just using an old picture frame actually. So I'm gonna align the corner of that picture frame with that point. And then, I always forget the name of this. I think it's called the carpenter square. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. But with that, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that that's at a 45 degree angle. So, need to tilt it a bit. Excellent. I've got these two scrap pieces of pine. So that's it guys, really happy with how this turned out, the splines look great, it works well, it was super cheap, super easy to do, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one.